Hi there, my name is David Walker Zinderhoff, and I'm a PhD student at the University of Exeter. So let me show you what I've been up to in the lab, and what my PhD is all about. This was me a couple of weeks ago, setting up a filter mating. It involves pipetting different species of bacteria onto a filter and pumping them through, so that I can incubate them, packed very tightly next to each other. This promotes exchange of DNA between these bacteria. But why am I doing this in the first place? Well, while I'm working away here, let me try and explain. I'm sure you will know that antimicrobial resistance, or AMR, is a huge problem. Now what we have here is a bacterial cell. It has its main DNA packaged into the bottom corner in its chromosome. Often, bacteria have extra genetic material called plasmids, essentially a small loop of DNA. A plasmid like this one can encode antibiotic resistance genes. Let's try and kill this bacterium with antibiotics. Because it has its plasmid, which contains an antibiotic resistance gene, absolutely nothing will happen if we try and treat it with these drugs. Here is a different bacterium. This one has a specific type of plasmid called a conjugative plasmid. The exciting thing about plasmids like these is that they are passed on between different bacteria, even between different bacterial species. Now, in my work, I have engineered this conjugative plasmid by adding in a gene that encodes biotechnology CRISPR-Cas9. Back to our first antibiotic resistant bacterium. Let's add the other bacterial strain that contains my engineered CRISPR plasmid. This conjugative plasmid gets copied and passed over into the resistant strain. Thanks to the gene I added in the beginning, CRISPR-Cas now gets expressed in this bacterium. The way this biotechnology works is that it specifically finds the antibiotic resistance gene on the plasmid and cuts the DNA. This removes the whole plasmid and kicks out the resistance gene in this way. Finally, let's use our antibiotics against this bacterium that we treated with my CRISPR plasmid again. Now, it does not have its resistance gene anymore. Therefore, using the antibiotics, we can kill the bacterium. This could help treat an infection. While I'm still fiddling with my filter mating, I hope you have now seen how we might be able to use engineered CRISPR plasmids like this to resensitize bacteria to antibiotics. Hopefully, this will pan out to be part of the solution to keep our antibiotics working and stop people dying from treatable infections.